Now, it's been a little while since we've seen Liverpool in Champions League, and this is a team that won the Champions League in 05 very dramatically, mm -hmm. as we remember, and then got to the final in 07. On track right now to get into Champions League for next year, do you think Liverpool can finish in the top four? Yeah, I certainly do. Um, I mean, I, I, I was lucky enough to go on Liverpool's tour last year, and uh, sorry, this season, this summer, uh, summer's just gone, and I noticed the togetherness that you know I hadn't seen for a long time. You know, the players were, you know, were loving being with each other. Um, you know, th there was confidence there. Uh, there was a little bit of belief, you know, coming back that you know maybe wasn't there before. And you know, you, we have to thank Brendan Rodgers for that because he is certainly bringing out the best of the players. And I honestly believed watching them in pre-season, you know, this could be the, the year Liverpool finish in the, in the top four. And you know, I've not seen nothing different throughout the season that have um, you know have made me. You know, see anything else? So, very confident. You know, I won't say quietly confident. I'm, I'm very confident that Liverpool can do that. Now, Liverpool has a tremendous rivalry with Manchester United, and United's having a tough year. They're in seventh place right now under the new manager David Moyes. How do you explain United's disappointing season? You know what? I mean, it's very tough. Um, I mean, it just shows you sort of how good Sir Alex Ferguson was as a manager. Um, you know, you think, you know, he's. I think there's there's probably been two additions into the squad, um, you know, into the Manchester United squad that weren't there last year. So, I mean, Manchester United walked away with the Premier League last year. You know, do uh, you know by far the best team. Now I don't know whether that was because the standard of the Premier League was not great uh, or Manchester United was so good. Uh, you know, that we'll never know. But you know, this year, Sir Alex Fergus has gone. Uh, you know, David Moyes has come in, and it was always going to be a difficult job, always going to be. Oh, yeah. uh, but. Look, you know, my main um, focus is on Liverpool doing well, and look, you know, it, it is sad to see sort of a you know a big club, um, you know, fall the way they have. You know, it's no, I'm not being disrespectful, you know, to to anyone, you know, remotely Manchester United, but Liverpool is is what I want. I want to see Liverpool do well, and you know, my focus is on on them more more so than any other club. Now this is a World Cup year. You played in the World Cup in 2002. England has a difficult group when you look at Italy, Uruguay, Costa Rica. Three teams in that group have won the World Cup in the past. How do you see this playing out for England? Well, you know what, it'll be tough, and um, I mean, I'm glad you said it was, uh, you know, going to be a tough group. But you know, you look at any team in a World Cup, and it's going to be tough. You know, it's the World Cup, so you know, we, we always expect it. I can see Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool got on my edge. You see, yeah. I can see England qualifying from yeah. the groups, uh, but you know, I can't see them winning it. And it's not me being you know, disrespectful for you know, the England players or the management. I just think there's better nations out there. Uh, I mean, I would love them to win it. But you, know, you look at you know, Brazilians, you know, the Uruguayans, the Argentinians, uh, you know, certainly playing over this, this part of the world, I think they're, they're better suited and probably better equipped to, you know, to win a World Cup in, in these, these parts. Now, I think a lot of people are like me and they think the Premier League is the most entertaining and competitive league in the world when you look at the teams that have a chance to win the championship. Uh, but there's another kind of trend developing where we saw this week in Champions League, Arsenal played, Man City played, and only four of the 22 starting players in those lineups yeah. were from England. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing, a bad thing? Is there anything that can be done about that from an England perspective? Look, I think... Um I mean, it's probably to England's detriment that you know, if you think of the future of English football, it's not it's not ideal. Um, and to use an analogy, that would probably be perfect. If uh, we see a lot of foreign managers come into into the Premier League, and look, I'm English. If I was you know to manage in Spain, if I was to manage in Germany or France, even, I would bring players in that I'm comfortable with. You know, players who I know. And we see that in England, where you know you do get the foreign managers and, and they're comfortable with the players from their own nationality, and you can't you, you can't criticise them for that, you know. And it has become a business. Players, um, clubs want success; they want it straight away. So they're bringing in the best players in the world. It might be a problem, you know, for England in the future. Um, and I think that's probably why a lot of the clubs now are spending, you know, a lot of a lot of money on academies, trying to bring you know, the young players through. I think eventually, you know, we will see, you know, good England players coming through. At the minute, it's tough for them to break into the size because because of the, uh, you know, the standard of the of the Premier League. And for me, it is the top league, and I, I totally agree with you. Um, but it's something for the for the FA over over in the UK to to have a look at because um, you know it, it could be serious problems in the future. 
Now, what is next for you? You're a guy who had a long and productive playing career. You're, be you're beloved at Liverpool. Do, uh, do you want to do television? Do you want to maybe be a manager? What's next? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm greedy. I want to do everything. Um, <laughs> you know, obviously playing football was you know, the thing that I loved doing. Um, it's, all, it's what I always wanted to do. Uh, so certainly coaching and, and managing is my next, my next step. Uh, you know, I had a spell in, in Thailand where I was player manager for the team. Um, you know, and, and it sort of wet, wetted my appetite to, you know, to do it a little bit more. So, you know, I'm in the process of, of finishing off my, uh, my final badge. So, um, you know, watch this space and, you know, I don't know if, uh, if anything certainly happens over in, uh, on this part of the world in, in the States. And, uh, you know, I, I would love to come over here and, uh, and maybe coach or manage over here. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode. It's just 30 minutes long in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. May not be the swimsuit channel, but just as exciting. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. There may be a swimsuit model there. We'll see you.